The new objective rewards are really weird. Like, super weird. And I know you're probably thinking, you, you're you just saying weird. Like, what's, what's the point? What, get, again, get to the point. So, objective rewards. As you know, doing them, smashing them out. Um, we, we've done that. If you followed the video yesterday that I put out on the channel, not all this kind of talking about the game being kind of like, well, falling apart from a point of a development point of view. Um, we've covered that in three videos already and three separate topics. Not a good time for Kabam. Not a good week at all for Kabam. But these rewards are weird. The only way that I can like explain to them being weird is based on the selection and the choice. So, as a lot of you know, we're on week one of the objectives, which look a little bit like this. They're on screen right now. And they give different things, depending on where you are. The weird thing about this is what you get to select, because a selector. Now, from a Paragon perspective, you get to choose some stuff. That's nice. Okay. Um, I'll give you a good example. Yesterday, now I didn't record this. But for Vanquish of Vanquisher of Hades, you get to choose from the following. And we'll talk about we'll go into this a little bit in detail and just showcase the rewards in a minute. But you get to either choose the Proven Reward, which is a four-star awakening gem, a Conqueror and Collector Rewards of one five-star signature stone, the Cavalier Rewards, which is 500 four-star relic shards, 6,000 tier six fragments, or the Paragon Reward, which is 150,000 gold. I'm, I'm not kidding. That's that's the Paragon reward for, for that particular objective. I, I say it like that because who wants 150,000 gold compared with tier 6 basic fragments of 6,000 and 500 four star relic shards? I mean, look, you're not going to, if you are a Paragon player, you won't be choosing some of the lesser ones. And if you're a Thronebreaker player, you, you'd, be, you'd, be, um, you'd be jumping for joy on that. But there is something of a shift with that one, where it's not of a, an advantage in other cases, in other places. But as you can see at the bottom, the Thronebreakers get to and other lower progression get to choose 150,000 gold. That or or you can go down lower to 100,000 gold with Cavalier. I have no idea why Kabam sandwiched this there. Like it's such an it's such an odd thing to have. Yeah, uh, my mind is a little bit boggled by that one. That was, I mean, we'll call it weird. We'll call this weird rewards, or weird rewarder. So that's probably what we'll call it. We'll call it weird reward. So, Paragon players could have picked up an additional six thousand tier six basic Catus fragments if they chose that. I don't know if that was the intention by that from Kabam to allow for players to go down that route of choice. Um, and look, the thing is, it doesn't like go anywhere else with the rewards because all, a lot of them are very much a case of like if you're a Paragon, like maybe I'll call this video Paragon Problems um, and Paragon Solutions when it comes to that. It's just very weird. I mean, look, we had the incident of the Mythic Crystal Shards, which uh, are rooted into um, this one here. Uh, what is it? This one, which is called Chemical Counter? Is it Chemical Counter? No, it's called Silk Silky Saviour. The Silky Saviour one, and let's get into the game just to kind of showcase this. So, Silky Saviour, which you can see on screen there, um, will we'll kind of like pop up with a selection, and... There we go, you get your choices, you get your Paragon choices. Now I'm going to all day long. Oh, look at that. Mythic Crystal. <laughs> huh? It's like, it, I, by the way, I do not own 2,364 of the crystals. That's the shards that you can't see properly. i got to take a print screen of that because uh, it's quite funny with that one. Um, but yeah, all day long, I choose that one. Uh, I don't choose that one, cause the other one, because apparently you get like banned, so uh, I'm not going to get banned. But yeah, grab that one there. Uh, I've done these all. As I said, go and check out the guide, which I've put out on the channel. It's interest it's, it's an interesting little guide put together. And we'll do week two as well. So this is tier six class catalyst. 
I need tier 6 class catalyst. I need to rank up another 6 star because, hey, I've done Eternity of Pain and I'm just about 100% Act 8.2. But I don't have a huge amount of rank 5 6 stars and rank 5 6 star materials at tier 6 class catalyst. Go figure. I must spend money because that is the only way. I'm not going to. I mean, look, at this point, you can make a decision of going, well, you wouldn't go down as low as that if you're a Paragon player. But as well, like, would you go three-star relics there? Would you do Would you do that there? Is that pretty much, no, tier two. Okay, that's fine. The rarity is there. So it's odd. So it's just that one there, Vanquisher of Hades. That is a very, very weird setup. Like, and I would recommend Paragon players to go down the route of either going the tier 6 basic catalyst fragments or the 4 star relics. I've already said my piece on, and just to confirm, maybe this video is going to shift the narrative, but maybe just to con confirm my worst case scenario on this particular uh, mode is the following, right? And that is the extent of rewards you normally get as a, you know, a player that's able to achieve doing all the difficulties is gone. You're not able to do that. Before, you were able to do all the difficulties, get a load of rewards. Now, one thing I will have to do is track my rewards as to what I pick up and see what I get, whether or not it feels like it's been advantageous. Also, one of the bigger revelations out of the um, the rifts is that you get double the amount of rewards to choose, which I didn't think you did, but um, apparently you do, which you know increases that. But from a guaranteed rewards perspective of what you get to choose, it's very... Well, it's not so good, is it? And that's just the thing I was pointing out, like when I did side quest totals, it feels like you're getting less in volume of rewards, especially from a guaranteed perspective. For a Paragon player, I personally need to increase my relics, but I'm not getting a huge amount of relic shards. In actuality, Kabam sh um, stripping out the three star and four star relics, I disagree with. Also stripping out a lot of the tier one class alloy and also some others bad show tier 2 alphas tier 5 basics you know um players of paragon are losing out people of throne breaker are losing out because you're not able to get the ones below you cavalier possibly to a degree but um yeah a lot of people are losing out on rewards and that's the biggest issue i think i'm, I'm trying to like point out with this video is that number one weird reward setup with that first one that particular one um for paragon players exclusively but the second point to this video is pointing out that rewards aren't as good because there's less in volume now i could be wrong in that you may pick up a lot more along the side quest and maybe command have got a secret event they're going to put out towards the end of the month which will allow you to get more rewards this month maybe they won't i don't know it's definitely not been rooted into the solo event, which doesn't retain any of the um, other elements of, um, you know, build. Like um, Portal Mastery or Energy Harvest. It's just not there. Now, if you do disagree, that's fine to this particular sentiment, but I just think that there's a lot less rewards. And it's definitely seen. There's evidence to pinpoint that there are less rewards available uh, for players, uh, especially if you're Paragon Thronebreaker, as, as I said. Um, I hope that is picked up in the side quest, which looks to be better. As I said, there are some better things about the side quest on offer, which is the double up, which I'll be covering in a video tomorrow about uh, scenarios, probably spend scenarios we'll try and do tomorrow. If not, it might be in the weekend. Uh, as I said, we've been derailed so much. We're try trying to get some decent coverage for the side quest. And that's mainly because it's like a lot of these kabam, be silly, stupid things go bad happened so it's important to cover you know we've been covering quite extensively the exploits the bans the breaking of featured crystal information thing and so much more and we're still we haven't even scratched the surface of psych i've posted two side quest related pieces of content this is the third um but we've got loads loads to do over the next uh, few days and the weekend so yeah thanks very much for watching this video what are your thoughts on this on the reward situation and especially on the lack of them uh or kind of the repositioning not going quite so well thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you all later on uh bye, -bye for now